Good morning, everybody. It is 5.46 a.m. It's pretty early. It's actually getting a little bit lighter. We got here probably 20 minutes ago, and we just kind of got everything ready. It was super dark. So there's a good chance that we're going to get rained on. I'm hoping I can still keep all the cameras out and rolling. But today's objective, I always like to set objectives, just goals for the day of fishing. Catch a pike, preferably a big one. I'm at a lake that uh, I fish quite a bit and uh, have not caught a pike here yet. I caught my first pike last week in South Dakota, but today we're going after some local Nebraska brutes. And uh, in case we don't catch any pike, there's always some good, you know, we can always catch some largemouth here, but with my buddy Aaron, and we are specifically targeting big northern pike and big largemouth bass. It's gonna be exciting. I'm in the the dink master ss dink or something i don't know what you guys call this thing that's what i'm in today beautiful morning though it's warm slight breeze no idea if you guys can even see me can they see me yeah oh okay good that's good that's good that's good stuff that's good stuff yeah so we're gonna we got here super early we want to make sure we're the first ones out on the water as always you always got to be first you're not first you're last right if you ain't first you're last oh hell ricky i was high when i said that I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all. You first, you're last. You, you can be second, you can be third, fourth, hell, you can even be fifth. Let's go catch some fish. I actually lied to you guys. We're gonna we're gonna start and try to catch some bass on this on this little rock bank here. We're gonna go after pike, but I basically just got here so early that I want to make sure we were like the first ones here, um, and we are. And there's nobody else here because it's supposed to rain in like an hour and a half or so. We're supposed to get a decent amount of rain, so no one, I feel like no, not too many people are gonna be here. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to catch a quick, couple quick largemouth. I'm throwing a whopper plopper, Aaron's throwing a buzz bait, and then we're gonna head to go search for some pike, which those, those guys are a little bit deeper, so we might be throwing some deep diving cranks and stuff, stuff along those lines. For now, we're gonna see if we can catch some bass. All right, we're gonna throw some crank baits in this little channel here. Maybe sometime today, there we go. You got one? Pike? Yeah. Uh-oh, Aaron's hooked up. Uh-oh. Is it a pike? Yeah. What? He's just coming like right at yeah, I say he's coming right at He's not bending your rod very much. Fair. Oh, that's a fish. For sure, that's a fish. Oh, God. This... Oh, he came off! <sighs> oh, God. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, he my. He my line. Dude, that was a and good fish. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we had one, folks. That's a good start to the day. He didn't run from you at all. He came he right came at right you. At me. All right. It's getting saucy now. Six. Yeah, five, we had a five and a half, five and a quarter, four and a half. There's one. Oh, dude, oh, he smoked it. He smoked it. He's still on? No. He smoked it right at the boat. Yep. You got one? Yep. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Aaron's hooked up. Aaron's hooked up. I'm coming. Aaron's got the first pike of the day, boys. Look at him run. He's trying to get you freaking... To go to the he's trying to go to the trees. Hell yeah. Oh, it's not a bad one, honestly. There we go. First one, baby. That's what we came here for. Look how pretty those things are. God, that's awesome. 28 inches? Yep. Yeah, 28 Just inches. Just barely over. Well, there you have it, folks. First one of the day. 28 incher. That's what we came here for. We actually, I mean, I'd hope we can catch a little bit bigger one than that, but that's what we came here for. Where it was, where was the pike? I still have yet to catch one. I had one swipe, Aaron had two, one hooked on, one bite, and then he caught one. So we're starting to kind of figure them out a little bit, figuring out what they're biting on, kind of where they're, where they're located and all that fun stuff like that. But I'm gonna quit talking because we've got a big old storm coming in. Uh, we're gonna try to catch some fish before that happens. There's one, there's one. Big pike, dude, giant pike, giant. Grab that net, bro, giant. Oh God, dude, giant, absolute freaking mammoth. Oh, dude, they can't even fit in the net. Oh, all right, all right, oh, dude, he doesn't fit in the net. He doesn't fit in the net. He's too far away. Dude, just get his head in there. Oh my God. I'm trying. Dude, he's gonna break. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. God, yes! Oh, sh <laughs> yes! Oh my 
my god, bro! What the hell? Oh, it just barely hooked. 38. That's my PB. 38. That's 38. That's my PB pike, bro. There we have it, folks. PB pike. Caught in Nebraska. Unreal. We're gonna get the release on this guy. Whenever you catch a pike this size, it's always key. You want to revive them a little bit. There she goes. Unreal. Unreal moment right now. Personal best pike. My first pike of the day. It's crazy, you, you come out here and you set your mind to something, I'm gonna catch pike, and you throw lures that catch pike, which obviously chatterbaits catch largemouth too, but unreal moment right there. God, that feels so good. It's gonna be hard to live up to that one the rest of the day, but it's only like eight o'clock, and it uh, looks like the storm might be kind of holding off for a bit. So we got, we haven't even hit my favorite spots on this lake yet. We've already had a great start. That was absolute pure chaos. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Pike wouldn't even fit and barely, barely fit in the net. Just crazy, crazy stuff. All right, let's catch another one. There's one. Yep, there's a fish. There's a fish. It actually feels kind of like a bass, to be honest, but I don't know. It feels like a bass. It's a largemouth, dude. Yeah, net him for me. There you go. Keep that crankbait out of the middle. Largey large crank it. It's my first first largemouth of the day. We're not really, I mean, we are kind of targeting them when we're throwing crankbaits and chatterbaits and stuff that that these guys and pike enjoy, but not what we're really after. But I'll take it. I mean, that's a solid two and a half pounder. There you go. There you go. I saw him hit. I saw him hit. There you go. There you go. You don't want to rip them trebles out of his face. All right here. Nice and easy, Mr. Freaking Pike. You don't, you don't need any accidents here. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Woo! <laughs> Finally, oh, he came off the crankbait too, look at that. Yep, 29. 29, baby. Get a, get a nice release on that girl. That's a good one. He was like, let go. Look at that, dude. Just That's slowly good. going. That's a good release too. Look at that, he goes straight back down the canal. Yep. Straight down the deeps. Finally, we got another one. It is. It's like 9, 9.17 right now. It's, it took a, took a long time to catch that fish right there. We kind of moved in. We went to like a deeper, deeper little canal here. And we're just kind of grabbing. He's chucking a deep diving crankbait, kind of like we were earlier, and I'm throwing a chatterbait. Finally caught another one. Sun's out, it's warm. And uh, we're just gonna make a couple more passes through this. And then I think we're gonna go flip some trees for some largemouth and, uh, and see if we can catch a bass. Cause I know a lot of you guys watching probably want to see us catch a few bass along the way. So we're gonna do that before we take off for the day. There's one. Yep, uh, no. There's one, first flip fish for me. That's a good one. Come on, buddy. Woo! Hell yeah. Dude, he about, I mean, he literally about took the rod out of my hand. And he choked it. Big old 10 inch worm. That's what I caught this little beauty on. We changed, uh, we changed up tactics. Started doing a little bit of uh, flipping and pitching in these trees. Didn't, we didn't have any more pike hookups. I think we hooked, we actually had like eight or nine bites, but only were able to capitalize on a few of those, which is, you know, how pike fishing goes. But now we're changing it up. We're gonna flip a little, flip it and pitch a little bit here. I'm trying to catch a few largemouth. Right now it's about like 11.30, so we want to take off pretty soon. On balls deep, boys. Well, that's ballsy. <laughs> Fish, fish, oh. yep. That's a fish, that's a fish. I need to tighten my drag real quick. Yes, dude. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Easy, easy, easy does it, easy does it. It's the same hell, Richard. That is what we're after. We fished for quite a long time. Probably two hours with nothing. Basically in a spot where I know there's a ton of rocks and I thought I was gonna get snagged. And this dude just popped it right away. Awesome, finally. Dude, that took so long to catch a fish. All right, see you, buddy. Lesson of the day, folks. Risk it to get the biscuit. I say that and I'll probably get snagged right here, but I'm gonna throw another cast in there. Lots of snags. I've lost hundreds of dollars worth of crankbaits right here. So I just decided to throw, throw my worm in there and it smoked it before it even hit the bottom. Nice. Another one, another one. Nope, another one, dude, yes. 
Dude, I think we found something. Oh my God. We discovered the juice, bro. We found the juice. That's a solid freaking fish. Oh my God, finally. Aaron's hooked up. We found it, boys. It just took a minute. We we found it though. Biggin? Oh, dude, that's good. Holy crap. That's three fish and three casts in one spot. We fished this spot earlier this morning and there was nothing. Literally not a soul. There we go. Aaron caught one. I think we might have figured figure something out. It is 1 p.m. right now. And I don't think we've caught a fish since about 10.30 or 11. And all of a sudden we just caught three fish. Not set yet. There he is. Yep, there he is. That's a good one. No, I got it. We're good. Biggin. There we go. Don't come off now. Don't come off. Dude, we just found the mother load right here. Yeah, that's a that's a ju that's a juicy three right there. Dude, actually, not even three. That he's just a long one. Yeah, he, he doesn't feel like anything. He's probably only like two and a quarter, two and a half. Definitely, definitely thought he was bigger when he was in the water. That's just another quality fish. I'm not gonna talk too much because I wanna see if I can catch some more. This bait is absolutely incredible. Keep going. Just cover water. You're gonna figure out where they're at. Another one. Another one. Nope. Another one, dude. That was the very next cast. You want one of these lures? I want to try it. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is. You got one? Yep. Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles, baby. Here we go. I'm gonna let this guy go. See you later, little guy. Let's see what Aero Dash has got over here. About the same size, dude. They're just grouped up here. Like, this is incredible. I don't know if I've ever found a juice spot like this at 1 p.m. in the afternoon after we had already fished the same spot. Like, it's not like we discovered a new area. This is literally the same spot that we've been fishing. And just, we changed lures and, you know, later on in the day, water warmed up or whatever. I don't know what the reasoning behind it is, but. Beautiful, beautiful largemouth. Another one. We are on a freaking roll here, folks. Can't even describe the feeling right now. It's like, just the, the, the lesson to take home to this is uh, John B saying, keep fishing, never stop. Just don't give up, keep fishing. No matter if it's one in the afternoon and you got here at, what time we get here, 5.15? Like crazy early. We've been fishing all day long and we finally, finally found the large mouth. I don't even know where we're at now. There's one. You're freaking. Nope, crazy. nope, that's. That's another fish, same spot. Same bait. Dude, that's a good one. Bro, I think it's a good one. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. Come here, buddy. Yes, yes. I can't believe this. A bait that I've never thrown just lights them up. It's incredible. It's incredible, it's incredible, it's incredible. I'm lost for words, folks. I've caught so many fish on the same lure in the same spot, I don't even know like what to say anymore. I'm basically just like, hey, he, hey guys, thanks for watching. Here's another fish. All right, I'm gonna release him and then I'm gonna go catch another one. See you, buddy. Ooh. Well, we are off the water. We had a great day. It started off great. Caught, you know, my PB pike. He caught a pike, caught another pike, and then it slowed way down. Didn't catch anything for like an hour or two. And then both of him and I caught a, uh, a flip fish, like a worm fish. And then nothing again for like three hours. Fished a lot of different stuff. Basically the troll motor's dead. And uh, the last cast of the day, I just bombed one onto this bridge in which the bridge is very snaggy. Like it has dozens of my crankbaits and jigs in it and stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? I'll just throw this Nico rig in there. It probably won't get snagged. Caught a fish. Second cast, caught a fish. Went back there. Aaron started catching fish. And I think we ended up with like 10 in like maybe 15 minutes back on the bridge. Unreal moment yeah that was crazy this was this was definitely one of the more exciting fishing days i've ever had catching my pb pike was very 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 exciting stuff i mean my adrenaline was pumping couldn't get it in the neck it was so freaking big finally caught it and then again using a new bait on a on a new body of water that i had like i haven't thrown that bait on this body of water basically is what i'm saying i've only thrown the nico rig like once in my entire life and ended up just absolutely destroying on it so that's good if you guys want any of the products that I use today, I will link it all down below. Would really appreciate if you picked up one of the flare rods. If you need a frog and flipping stick, go check it out. It's uh, the best one on the market, in my opinion, not being biased. 
And uh, yeah, it's a really good rod. Otherwise, everything else, flare gear would be down below. Would really appreciate if you guys pick some of that up. Helps me out a ton. I'm gonna leave though. Haven't eaten since 4, 4.15 this morning, and it is 2.36. So I'm freaking starving. So I'm gonna quit talking, go get some food. Peace.